Amanda. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Hope you're having an awesome day. Thanks for taking some time every day to hang out with me. Today's video is another glow up inspired look in collaboration with Jamie Brumfield. And we are now on episode two, which heavily focused on prosthetics. And let's just say, I am not prepared. A, I haven't worked with any before. And two, I don't have any in my collection yet, but we are going to be doing that down the line. So we are going to be doing the face off challenge in episode two, which is a five minute, five tools, five makeup items only, and it has to be a bold look. The judges emphasize wanting a very bold look, and I don't know if my look's gonna be necessarily as bold. Instead, it is a reference to something. So that is something I wanted to do, even though the judges would look at me and go, the hell? But they really wanted to essentially just dip your hands into shadow or body paint and smather it all over your face, put some glitter on, call it a day. Gotta say, the participants really did let me down when I was watching it. I was looking at it like this. How is this bold? I'm not gonna say that my look's gonna be any bolder, it's just gonna be maybe funnier. I have to hand it to Jamie. She was the one that really pushed me into watching the show and I've been having so much fun watching it, really getting inspired by the different makeup challenges and face-offs that they do and then putting our own twist on it. Needless to say, I'm very excited for today's video. I will leave both my collabs and glow up playlist to watch previous videos. And if you're visiting from Jamie's channel, welcome. Thank you so much for checking me out. I hope you subscribe and give this video a like before you leave. The easier part, which are the five makeup items that I chose out. Gotta have a primer. So I chose out my Ole Henriksen Banana Brightening Face Primer. I chose out the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. I really like this foundation to clean up either my brows or if I overline my lips. This comes in handy. I don't know what it is about this, but I love this stuff and I will eventually need to get a full size. I have my KVD Cake Liner. I chose out the ColourPop Villains Maleficent Lipstick. I really wanted a bright pink lip for this look. I'm not sure why pink. It just spoke to me for this look. Probably not a surprise here, but I picked out my Be Perfect Cosmetics Stacey Marie Carnival Palette Volume 1. And then for my five tools, I chose out my handy dandy color switcher. I sounded like Steve from Blue's Clues, but legit, I feel like I can't do looks without this because I'm constantly cleaning off my brushes on it. I chose out a brow pencil, my trusty eyeliner pencil. I think this is technically a highlighter brush, but I think this is going to work out nice. It previously has color on from a previous look I was trying out. Since I'm using the same shade, I definitely felt like might as well just recycle that brush before I do clean it. And then a large shading brush. Now, if you are a fan of SpongeBob, hopefully I can do this look justice because I'm going to be doing the bold and brash look from the episode where Squidward is teaching the art class and Spongebob feels like he can't do art and he picks out that one photo. He's like, oh look Squidward, it's bold and brash. And then the art critic looks at it and goes more like belongs in the trash. So that's gonna be me. That was the first thing that came to mind when I heard bold look. I just automatically made that SpongeBob reference. And if you listen to episode four of A It's a Podcast, you will know that I do love my SpongeBob. It seems like we made so many references to different SpongeBob episodes in that episode. Three, two, one, let it rip. And they're off in the Kentucky Derby. All right, just gonna slap this primer on all over the face. All right. And I'm actually gonna switch eyeliners to my Milk Makeup one. The K my KVD one is breaking on me. All right, so I do need to pull up the photo. Baby hairs in the wet. All right, here we go. We have a minute and 15 has gone by. All right, hopefully I can clean up some of this really quick before we start. Oh no! That eyeliner doesn't want to move. It's okay. Let's 
try to get this filled in. Oh, that doesn't want to work. Two minutes have gone by. I know I'm trying to color inside the lines. I don't even know why I'm wasting my time doing that. Two minutes and 30. All right, let's try to get like an eye on. And I know that his tentacles have like a little bit. Was there anything else major in there? Okay, this other tentacle did. Hopefully, I can clean up maybe just a tad. Okay, so I'm going to quickly try to take a little bit more because we're coming up on the four minute mark right here. Just to try to color him in a little bit better on those rough areas. All right, and I got 40 seconds to throw on some lipstick. Clean that up just a little bit. Two, one, and that is time right there. It's definitely not the prettiest. I think you can at least tell who it is. It actually kind of looks a little bit more like that blue flying thing from Star Wars Episode One. So this is what we were going for. I literally typed in blue flying thing, Star Wars, and this is what we got. I know we were going for bold and brash, but realistically, we belong in the trash. What was really hard about this challenge is I couldn't just take my time precisely drawing it and going back if I made any mistakes. That's why like this side seems to be like really wonky. I was able to clean up slightly. I figured that I needed to prioritize my time on filling him in a little bit better because he is quite patchy. Now I do think the eyeliner went well. My Kat Von D eyeliner actually broke on me during all this, having issues twisting up and down. So I had to resort to my milk one, which I love my milk one. It's super bold and it doesn't want to budge at all. And that was the hard part about wanting to try to clean this up. I tried taking a Q-tip and it was just starting to smear. I'm like, oh no, oh no, no, panic attack. It was just a lot easier with such a bold eyeliner. Keep drawing and going. Every time I kept looking at the clock, like the blood pressure kept going up. That made it super stressful because I'm like, I'm running out of time, running out of time, thinking that I had a lot more time. Cause I thought I was off to a really fast start and like the more I started looking at it, I'm like, oh, he's patchy. Oh, 
I need to clean this up, but the point of this challenge was to just create a bold look, letting the creativity flow, and hopefully the inspiration of Bold and Brash would achieve it. Let me know in the comments below what you think, and I would love to know if you had to do a five minute bold makeup look, which five products, which five tools, and what look would you create? Would you have gone the route the judges were looking for, essentially just throwing glitter on your face or just some eyeshadows here or there? And what do you guys think on making a reference to the word bold? And don't forget to check out Jamie's look. Her look will be linked in the description below. We are having a blast in this collab. We invited some more content creators to join in. So I'm very excited to see what their looks on all the different makeup challenges and face-offs will be. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And if you don't, I appreciate your view anyways. And I'll see you in the next video.